CataractCoach.com, Pearls for Learning, MSICS, Manual Small Incision Cataract Surgery. And yes, there are cases where M6 is better than FACO. And here's one of those cases. So we're gonna speed the video up here just to get through the important parts. The incision is very important. So we're doing a superior pyridomy. This patient has a with the rule astigmatism, but two and a quarter diopter. So this incision up here is gonna help. Now with the pyridomy done, a little bit of light cautery here to stop any bleeding to get a nice clear sclera there. And then I also now like to dry off the tissue there, keep it pretty dry. And let's make the main incision here. We're gonna have this incision Architecture is going to be about half scleral depth, and it's going to be trapezoidal in nature, so wider internally than it is externally. So here's the groove of, again, about half scleral depth using a crescent blade. And then now, nice and easy, taking your time. And then this patient has a little bit thinner sclera than normal because he's also very myopic. This patient is going to receive a minus three diopter IOL for a post-op outcome of minus one. So this patient has an axial length of well over 30 millimeters. So here we go, look at that trapezoidal nature. So we're going and making this incision wider internally than it is externally. That's the trapezoidal shape, that looks great. Notice we have not yet entered the main incision into the anterior chamber. So now we can dilute out the tripan blue dye. We left the dye in there for a long time to really get a good stain here. And now let's put in our dispersive viscoelastic. So we'll inject that dispersive viscoelastic that's very important. And you can see there is no red reflex whatsoever. So now we'll go in with our keratome. Here's a diamond keratome. Make sure we're in the correct plane. And then we'll have a nice clean entry right there. And we'll just leave it with the single 275 incision at this point. So our next pearl is you've got to get the caps rectus to be large, at least five millimeters, because we need to bring the whole nucleus out of the capsular bag. So we're gonna go in here. I'm using my forceps that have marks on them so I can tell what's five millimeters. And I'm gonna aim for, again, about a five, maybe five and a half millimeter rexus. And you can see that's coming along nicely. By leaving the blue dye in the eye for a long time, for a minute or two, it really gives a beautiful stain, a lot of contrast there. Hydro dissection, be careful. You can't see a fluid wave because the nucleus is so dense. So we'll just look for other clues, like the nucleus coming forward a little bit. There you go. And if we can slowly prolapse part of it out of the capsule rag, that's beautiful. That's going to be a big help. And now using that cannula to really help get the entire nucleus up out of the capsule bag. Ideally, the entire nucleus will be above the capsule bag. And so we'll use the chopper to manipulate that a little more, help dial it up out of the bag. That looks great. So now we've got the full nucleus available above the capsule rim and even above the iris there. So now more dispersive viscoelastic is going under the nucleus and now look above it. Very important there, that dispersive viscoelastic needs to protect the cornea and endothelium as well as protect the posterior capsule. At this point, now we can use our crescent and open that incision up to its full, full size that we made earlier. And again, it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit to get the nucleus out. So here's the trick I'm gonna show you. We're gonna inject more viscoelastic to pressurize the eye there. And then we're gonna actually push the nucleus out. I'm gonna use a spatula here opposite the main incision to push. So when you have this lens loop going under the nucleus, very important, do not let the cataract touch the corneal endothelium. So instead we'll use that spatula in the left hand to push, push, push that nucleus and that force, can we can get it right out of the eye. Also the pressure gradient from having that viscoelastic helps and Boom, there's the nucleus, the whole thing comes out. Now if yours gets stuck, you may have to enlarge your incision slightly. So get that nucleus off the field, you can see just how opaque it is. Now let me tell you about suturing the incision. So here we can place two sutures to trisect that main incision. Our main incision is about nine millimeters wide, so place these two sutures, and that will give us three segments, each about three millimeters wide. Now at this point, some surgeons in other countries do a bimanual cortex removal and they can do that and not use the main incision and the eye stays inflated, and that's fine. But if you have a coaxial setup already done, go ahead and do this technique that like I'm showing you, which is placing two sutures here. While I understand some surgeons like to do this MSICS technique without sutures, I think your patients are better served by just placing a suture, at least in my hands. Now in other countries like in India, there are surgeons who do a thousand or more of these MSICS per year. 
In the U.S. here, I don't do that many. I do a small, small fraction of that. So there are the two incisions. Now I can go in with the IA probe and that incision stays shut and we can clean out any of the cortex that remains, wash out any other pieces of lens material that are there, and we'll get a nice clean outcome. There's a little bit of iris prolapse that I realized in the side incision. You can uh, fix that by lowering your infusion pressure, etc. But again, it's of no consequence. We've cleaned everything up here. Now to put the new lens in, well, we're using a lens that's a three-piece lens, an acrylic one, that has a monofocal optic. And again, it's a negative power. It's a negative three-dopter lens for a post-op outcome of minus one. So very myopic eye. And we'll deliver that lens, and we'll get it in the capsule bag. And you can see there's a nice overlap of that rexus. So about a five to five and a half millimeter rexus. And now we can seal up the incisions. Looks great. Last steps to close the conjunctiva. And this patient had a beautiful outcome. So thank you for watching, and I hope you take these pearls to heart and learn this important technique. Thanks for watching these videos, and remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.